Hello everyone and welcome back to more random games on the internet. I'm your host Cross Platinum and welcome to the elevator. A game where you have to get to your certain floor with this elevator bellhop. So we gotta talk to this girl and see what, what, what kind of ending we'll get. Nice to meet you stranger. Let me welcome you to the elevator. I'm the elevator girl, I'll be your assistant for today. Before anything else, I'll advise that you keep your hands away from the walls and not to touch and move around too much. The company won't pay for any injuries that might occur on the way down, excuse me? So please be careful. In the past, we had issues of lost limbs stuck in the mechanisms. Excuse the fuck out of me. Um, not a pretty sight as you'd imagine. Also, very expensive to clean up. But don't worry. If you stand perfectly still, the chances of something going wrong are less than 50%. Excuse me. I need to get off this elevator, bro. Now, please don't be impatient, dear stranger. This is a very long trip down. Let us take the chance to get to know each other. I'll let you know once we're near our first stop. Uh, there's still a long way to go. Uh, so for now, please relax and enjoy my company. The elevator. We've been going down for a while. Please don't be impatient. There's still a long way to go. Uh, what? I'm just gonna stare at you because I feel like you're gonna stab me. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what this conversation is gonna go to. Like, what do you want me to say? Are we there yet? You want me to be impatient? I'm gonna, I'm gonna click the next. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. I, I, this is fucking awkward. Like, you're lucky the elevator music's catchy. Are we there yet? No. Oh my fuck. We have arrived to our first stop. Alright. What's up, bro? No getting ahead. Take your ticket and wait. We call this floor the waiting room. Okay. People that don't have the patience to endure the trip down are left here. They spent a long time here waiting for something, or perhaps waiting for nothing at all. All that clear is that they wait, they wait as long, a lot, a lot they wait. Yo bro, I've been here for a long time waiting for a wait. What was I waiting for? Anyway bro, did the rubber boy ever find the single piece? I was a big fan of that show, but sadly never got to see how it ended. Of course people that leave here can't get into the elevator. Can't get any, that's a no-go. Elevator, what's that? Anyway, I'm back to waiting. Have a nice day, you both. That sounds like a horrible floor to be stuck on. Well, I don't think this is your stop, so let's keep going deeper, shall we? What the fuck was that? That man looked like he was still wearing his high school outfit. Our next stop is a few minutes away. Do you want to chat for a bit? I was reading a story earlier. You probably heard of it. It's a fairly popular one. The Tale of the Tortoise and the Hare. Well, in case you didn't remember it, it goes something like this. There was once a tortoise and a hare that decided to have a race between them. The hare would often mock the tortoise for being slow. So when the day of the race came, the hare easily outpaced the tortoise and got close to the finish line in no time. Seeing the slow paced turtle of the tortoise, the hare got cocky and decided to take a nap as it was impossible for the tortoise to catch, would ever catch up. But then the hare slept for too long so the tortoise managed slowly but steadily get to the finish line and beat the hare. Quite the story, don't you think? It's easy to draw parallels to real life. There are many hares and tortoises out there. Now tell me, stranger, would you consider yourself a hare or a tortoise? I'm a tortoise. The tortoise, huh? The story is constructed in a way to make the tortoise appear to be the hero, but I disagree with that notion. The tortoise is just as bad as the hare. If you are hard working, you only put the effort if you are hard working, you only put in the effort to always be on top. You wouldn't let yourself go to so much that you become a laughing stock of everything everything else. 
Furthermore, the tortoise victory is a fluke that relied on the hare's incompetence, not the tortoise's efforts. They are both incredibly lazy. Well, hare and tortoise, it doesn't matter. I'm sure the next floor is of interest to you. Really? What do you think will catch my eye? Oh, here we are. I don't like this. Welcome to the factory. The factory is a pride and joy of our company. We'll make, we make everything here from jewelry to insulin to firearms. It's all here. All our systems are automated too. The robots handle the work. So being the one of the employees is extremely easy. I asked you about the hare and the tortoise because you seem lazy to me. And I think I was right. So I wanted to make you an offer. We are currently hiring and we need someone like you. Just do absolutely nothing. The pay is pretty good boot. Would you be interested? I'll pass. We're gonna keep going down. So you don't wanna work for us. That's a shame. I, I don't wanna work here. Well, maybe factory work isn't for you. It's all right, it's all right. We have other positions too. Maybe our next Fox will be more to your liking. Sorry about that. Um, what were we reading? Oh yes. In the meantime, would you like to play a game? What game? What the fuck? <laughs> Here's our new slot machine prototype. What makes it different from other slot machines, are you wondering? Well, it's free to play. So feel free to give it as many attempts as you want. The win condition is get three of the same numbers in a row. I'll let you do your thing, please enjoy. Fine. I lost. You lose. Uh, let's keep going. My RNG will be lucky one day. I was close. I was close, bitch. Fuck you. Nah. No, nah, don't give me 666. I'll pass. Elevator girl is staring at my fucking soul. I'm not gonna win! Oh, I forgot to mention. Another feature of this new prototype is that not only is it free to play, you can almost never win. You son of a bitch. Oh, you had enough of our slot machine already? Yes, that's a shame. But oh well, we're live to our next stop in a moment. You motherfucker. I'm just looking at her very angry. And here we are. I don't like this. Let me welcome you to the office. This is where most brilliant ambitions employees work. As opposed to the fact that this place isn't automated, but you get paid accordingly to the amount of effort you put in. The employees of the office are an integral part of the development of the company, creating new products and later to get made in the factory and new ideas to improve product productivity. Salaries here start at 100, 100k US dollars per hour. Hmm, huh, a newbie? You should definitely join us. In fact, you should work under me. Ah, yes. If you enter as an apprentice or someone, your senior will get a portion of your income in exchange for your mentorship. I work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I also have 250 apprentices. I'm probably the richest people in the world right now. <laughs> but that's not enough. I need more. Become my apprentice. With your help, I'll be able to get to the absolute top. I'll become CEO of this company. Then I'll fund new companies to become even richer. So join me. You won't regret it. Please don't be a pushy with the stranger. Shut up, elevator girl. You'll see. In no time, you'll work for me too. I'll own you and your stupid elevator. Just wait and see. We'll see about that. Oh shit. She's like, yeah, fuck out of here. Well, I don't think the stranger would be a good fit for this floor anyway. Let's keep going deeper. How deep does this elevator go? And on we go. We should chat for a bit while we wait for the next destination. What do you think? Of, uh, what do you think of the descent so far? I was hoping you're having a good time. After the last stop, you'll surely wish to uh, go back into the elevator. That's for sure. <laughs> Never mind. 
but it's all good the company really appreciates people like you even more so you are exactly what we're looking for i've been working here for over 50 years so i know what i'm talking about when i see someone with big potential i can in i can identify so immediately that's the elevator girl for you i am great at my job you're 50 <laughs> like i'm still trying to process that what kind of hormone are you using girl negative 69 oh no oh we finally arrived to our next stop this floor is actually let's skip this floor shall we yo why <laughs> She didn't want to talk about it. Demonetize. Da 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 da. Oh, sorry. Is my singing bothering you? It's a long trip down, so sometimes I get distracted. I'm sorry. Well, now that I think about it, you must be getting hungry right now. Uh, we happen to have a full course meal service at this elevator, so feel free to eat whatever you want. Hold on a second. I'll bring you the menu. Oh, finally, food. This is only two options. Please choose the dish you would like to eat. I'll uh, give it a beef stew. I see. Good choice. Now for the main course. Ooh, ooh. Give me that pork chop. Another good choice. Finally, please choose your dessert. Give me the fruits. All right. Now, please enjoy your meal. Mmm. I could use that right about now. I hope it was tasty. Uh, I can't help but notice you selected some of the dishes that contained animal products. I hope you are aware that animals had to die to st uh, satiate your hunger. If you really enjoy types of person that enjoys inflicting pain upon creatures you deemed inferior to you, that would be very unfortunate, but I'm sure you're really aware of death and all around, right? You only eat creatures to survive, not for pleasure, am I right? Well, that's enough for food. Let's chat a bit. There's still a long way down. A question, do you have any pets? I do have pets. I see. So do you think of slaving animals is okay? Note it. Oh, God, you're a bitch. Hmm, next question. Imagine you were on a deserted island with a starving old man and a cute puppy. You had a full course meal and had one apple left. Would you give it to the apple or the old man or the puppy? Hmm. Man. Ah, oh, that's a hard choice, old man or puppy. Or we could just be an asshole. She already thinks I'm a big, so I eat the apple. I see. Next scenario. You're stranded on the mountain, and you're wintering your kitten. And at first free, you'll be the first one to die. If your kitten eats your remains, it might survive. Do you accept death in case your cute kitten will for food? <laughs> I eat the cat! No! I accept death. I see. Final question. No. Would you give up your tongue in exchange for leaving this elevator? What the fuck did you just say to me? No. Understandable. What? Oh, we have arrived. This floor. Let me welcome you to the kitchen. Here, employees worked hard to provide food for everyone in the company. Mm, that visitor looks very tasty. I'm in pain. Why don't you come join the kitchen? We have nice food here. I'm in pain. Yeah, the kitchen is very nice then. Look, I wouldn't sugarcoat it. The food comes from them, all right? I'm in pain. Come on. Just a little bright won't hurt. Oh, what the fuck? Mm, no, you aren't deserving of the kitchen. People like you deserve to go even deeper. Shall we continue, stranger? Where are we going? Where are we going? I know you have questions right now, but I'm legally not allowed to answer any of them. But just trust me, I'll find the best floor for you. As I said before, our company really likes having people like you on board. I wouldn't let you go to waste. Excuse me. Excuse the fuck out of me. Ah, uh, it's never pleasant to come to this one. Here's the floor, I guess. Let me welcome you to the prison. Here we bring people that have issues with interpersonal relationships, the people who have failed at basic human interaction, so please be careful. <laughs> Don't believe her lies, stranger. I know the truth about this place. She won't let you out. 
She'll keep torturing you until she becomes bored of it. Mehehe. <laughs> this floor is not a prison. This is where she puts her broken toys. If you leave, you'll avoid becoming a freak like us. You'll have much more luck finding a way out as a normal human. Let's trade places. Well, everything he said, it's, it's a lie except the last part. It is possible to trade your place in the other with one of the employees. The people in the other floors would never give up their jobs, but the troublemakers here are different. Lies, lies, all lies. You have to trust me, stranger. I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. If I'm in the elevator, I can get my revenge on her and you can get away from her. It's a win-win. If we are done here, I think it's time to leave this place now. Just trade places with me. I'll stay in the elevator. You, you fool. Have you not seen what she really is? I don't like where this is going. I'm assuming you've already figured it out. That's right, you're already dead. And right now we're going to the deeper layers of hell. I'm trying to find which is most appropriate for you. Our next stop is very special. Maybe you'll even find it a bit familiar. Here we are. This is the last stop. Let me welcome you to hell. That's right, just hell. Every floor we've visited thus far is also a part of hell. This, however, is very special. You can call it Christian hell or motive hell, movie hell. Basically, what you imagine and think of the place. Lava, sulfur, agony, all that good stuff. This floor is sort of a VIP lounge. All of our most distinguished guests stay here. Adolf, Walt, the Kims, uh, even those who failed the clones, Mr. Jobs. The gang's all here. Do you think you have a pedigree to join the group of evil? Well, I'll be the judge of that. Well, I think, I think you really do belong here. Congratulations, you are now VIP of hell. Eternal damnation awaits you. Now get off my elevator, please, thanks. Whoa. You left the enemy and entered hell. Your skin started to burn immediately. You were in a constant state of suffocation, being unable to breathe whatsoever. The resident demons would throw molten rocks on you on sight. The rare occasions where you encountered another damned soul, they are terrible layers of hell so you started avoiding them despite the solitude and the physical torture were paying the most you remember the part did your family mourn your death did you have any real friends if you are such a terrible person to deserve the fate you must leave to see you did your life have meaning what was it all worth you continue to think about it could have been different advice you ignored help rejected missed opportunities you missed you have become numb but the pain but your regrets last forever and seven we got the seven ending oh man I wonder if we could speed run and get a good ending. Yes, we're here again. We've already been through this. Let's take a chance to get to know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to get a good ending. To the elevator. So where are we going? Please don't be so impatient. There's a lo still a long way to go. No. Are we there yet? No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna just keep fucking annoying her now. Cause she's pissing me off. Are we there yet? No. Oh my god. We've arrived to our first stop. What's up, bro? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, will you get off my elevator? Sorry. Oh, she threw me out now because I kept annoying her. Wow, she threw me off into the waiting room. You left the elevator in the waiting room. The old man and the other other people in the room, they made waiting more bearable for you. You talked to them all the time while you waited and waited in due time. You called them friends, but eventually you ran out of topics to discuss with them. So you silently waited and waited. Sometimes you hear an elevator pass by, occasionally you even stop with visitors. In rare occasions, someone will leave the elevator and join the waiting room. But eventually you will also lost interest in new arrivals. At some point, you forgot you even rode the elevator. 
At some point, you forgot what you were doing, what you did, and even know to begin with. It didn't matter anymore. You just kept waiting and waiting and waiting some more. And one. She was so annoyed with me. That's funny. That is hilarious. We annoyed her to the point where she just threw me out the elevator. She was like, get the fuck off. All right. We're back in the elevator again. Um, so this apparently there's an ending where you have to click the button the four the elevator four button four times. I'm clicking it. 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 Nah, it doesn't work. Nope. Nope. We've arrived to the first stop. We've already been here. Hmm. I'm the hair. The hair, huh? All right, we're gonna speed run and get this other ending. We're gonna get one more ending and be on our way. I'll pass. No. No, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We won't play the game. We're gonna get one more ending. Oh yeah, I'm good, bro. I do not want to be in here. No, 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 no. Uh, we finished the floor. Yeah, we're not stopping there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We're not stopping on that floor. We'll get tofu. Good choice. We'll eat salad. And we'll have fruit. All right. This is part. I hope that was tasty. I can't help but notice you didn't touch any of the dishes with animal products. I hope you didn't live under the illusion that you're guilt-free from eating plants. Plants are also living beings just like you and me. They might be incapable of complex feelings, though, but they can still feel fear and are murdered for consumption. In their own way, of course. But who says we have to have the high moral ground to say it gets eaten by a higher intellect? Well... I hope you at least understand the entitlement of yours when eating living, other living beings. It's kind of eat, eat or be eaten world, I suppose. Well, that's enough about food. There's still a long way down. A question: Do you have any pets? I don't. I see. So you're not. You don't. So you really 
hate animals. Note it. Hmm. Next question. Magdurini Island. Uh. Um. I eat it. I see. Next scenario. You are stranded on an island. Accept my death. I see. Final question. Would you give up your tongue to... No. Understandable. Oh, we have arrived. This floor... Let me welcome you to the kitchen. Our employees work hard to provide food for everyone in the company. Yes, yes, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen, and look, I wouldn't sugarcoat it. The food comes from them, all right? I'm in pain. Oh, thank God, she closed the elevator door. Hmm, no, you aren't deserving of the kitchen people like you deserve to go even deeper. Shall we continue, stranger? I better get another ending. I know many questions right now, but I'm legally allowed to not answer any of them. Alright, so where are we going? Where are we going? Hmm. It's never pleasant to come to this this floor, I guess. Welcome to the prison. I mean we can go for that. Trade places. I see if that's what you want. Now, please trade places with our employee. You left the elevator and traded with the man. As soon as you entered the prison, deformed individuals started approaching you. Oh, look at you, pretty eyes. You got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Everything went dark after hearing those words. Look at those hands. So pristine. So pristine. Why can't I have hands like you? After hearing that, you stopped feeling your hands. And they were even attached to your body anymore. You couldn't tell. What a nice nose you have. I bet I have a great sense of smell. Those are nice feet. Haha, -ha, look at the newcomer. They must not be bright at all. I wish I was a newcomer too. The voices kept going for a while until they finally stopped. You find yourself laying on the floor. At least that's what you think. You had no way to tell anymore. Unable to see, unable to stand, unable to uh, smell and hear. Unable to grab anything. Unable to recall your old memories or what you used to be. You just laid there thinking about the things you could have, could have, maybe, someday. You'll be able to trade places with someone else. Ending six. Okay. Picking barriers is one question. All right. Let's try this bonus ending. Four four four. Oh, it worked. There you go. Room four four four. H Hello, are you my soulmate? Uh, excuse the fuck out of me. What just happened? That was the ending. Oh my god, that was the ending. You had to click it. You lived happily ever after with the creepy girl. And four. <laughs> that was it. That's it. We did it. It's over. Um, all right, guys, that was the elevator. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a couple endings. Uh, really fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to check out my coffee account. To support me, and I'll send you links to support the creators of the game. Try the game out yourself and see if you can get all the endings. I am out. And don't forget to follow me on Crossfire TV.